I now call on the class valedictorian, Dr. Matthew Anthony Liu. <laughs> Dr. Liu is a Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with distinction from the Faculty of Medical Sciences, and he will deliver the valedictory address. Dr. Liu. Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, Principal of the Mona Campus, Ministers of Government, other distinguished members of the Platform Party, specially invited guests, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is with great pride that I deliver this valedictory speech on behalf of the graduating class of 2015. The theme for my speech this evening is perspective, the ability to perceive things in their actual interrelations. As we reflect this evening on our journey through UWE, I would like to compare our experience to the 110 meter hurdles. From the starting blocks with eyes to the horizon, we students see only unending hurdle after hurdle. You see, from our perspective, the perception of length is distorted, and as such, the joy of overcoming each hurdle is met by the disbelief that there's always one more to go. Our fans and coaches on the sideline, far removed from us, are presented with a panoramic view. There is no illusion for them. They can see the finish. They can see that the hurdles are finite. And they can see that the race is a sprint, not a marathon. Some of you, former athletes yourselves, Shout advice to us in between bursts of encouragement. As the race draws to a close, our view changes, and with the end in sight, we quickly check to our sides. What position am I in, we ask ourselves. And almost tasting the finish, we push. We commit our utmost till the very end. And no matter if first or eighth, we all dip at the line. After years of exertion, the race is over, and exhausted but satisfied, we find ourselves here in disbelief of its brevity, our pants of fatigue drowned out by the cheers of onlookers. Success at last. But then reality sets in. The perspective has changed. The euphoria of success quelled by uncertainty and the apprehension of unfamiliar responsibility. We are now professionals, respected members of society, and future leaders of our nations. Yet we do not cower, as UWE has prepared us well. Our experiences here have shaped us into individuals confident in our abilities, leaders, competitors on a global stage, those who can do much with that which is given, those who can succeed against all odds. No other graduates better exemplify these qualities than those that sit before you this evening. We are the class that should have never been, the class of too many, an experiment destined to fail. Yet, against all odds, here we find ourselves, side by side, adorned in gowns, the largest ever graduating class from the Faculty of Medical Sciences. <laughs> Seated before you are new doctors, nurses, physiotherapists, radiographers, graduates of the basic medical sciences, and for the very first time from this institution, dentists. It was physician and Holocaust survivor Viktor Frankl who said these famous words, 
When we are no longer able to change our situation, we are challenged to change ourselves, end of quote. We are a product of our decisions, not our circumstances. At this juncture, the temptation to reminisce proves irresistible. We look down from this peak in our lives at those low days when we lost confidence and self-belief. We stand bewildered at where we now find ourselves. For it was not long ago, as mere fledglings, we were being shuttled from the classrooms to the clinics. As juniors, we approached our new environs with enthusiasm and naivety. As seniors, however, the perspective was quite different. We yearned for the cool AC of the lecture theater, the predictability of a daily schedule, and most importantly, the seemingly lost concepts of lunchtime or a full night's sleep. Academia aside, UWE has afforded our cultures the chance to mingle and allowed us to unify across the Caribbean. Since entering UWE, we have learned many things. I have learned that the euphoric experience of Maracas bacon shark can only be felt, not described. <laughs> that it's Bajan, not Barbadian. <laughs> and that the unwavering will to succeed is an inherent quality of all Caribbean people. I'm sure my fellow graduates would agree that throughout our time here, we have made as many new relationships as we have strengthened old ones. We can all attest to having met lecturers who inspired us, found friends who supported us, and have even welcomed new additions to our families. There are, however, rare instances when the lines between teacher, friend, and family became blurred. Those life-changing times when we found those persons who so amazing in their ways, humbled us. Allow me to relay my own personal experience with one such individual, a human being so kind and gentle that without her guiding hand, many a student, myself included, would not be seated before you today. I speak of none other than the late and great Dr. Sujatama Yuliru Gandretti. <laughs> more affectionately and pronounceably known as Dr. Suj, who unfortunately passed away last year. Had she been with us here this evening, there are two things that I'm certain of. One, she would be smiling as she was unable to make any other facial expression. <laughs> and two, that she would be filled with pride. Isn't it? <laughs> it is. Fellow graduates, as we move forward from this period in our lives, let us reflect not only on our achievements, but also our newfound power. We are now role models. We must tread carefully as we influence the next generation, a generation as eager and as impressionable as our own. Our roles have been reversed. We are now teachers when once we were students. Our perspective changed forever. This evening, we find ourselves in quite peculiar circumstances. This evening, the apprentice is charged to address the masters. Our audience this evening is decorated with professionals in every field and lecturers of every discipline. However, accolades and distinctions aside, we recognize you, our distinguished guests, by even more illustrious titles. Can you imagine? We see mentors mothers, fathers, siblings, and friends. You who have supported, cheered, and inspired us. You who have laughed and cried with us. We welcome you to a celebration of your investment. To you who have given so much, we, the class of 2015, sincerely hope that we have met all your lofty expectations. I thank you. <laughs>